Hello, Daz Studio patrons. This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you to my tutorial series. All right, so I'm really excited because I have my new graphics card. It is a 4070 Super Ti with 16 gigabytes of VRAM, and I am going to be installing it. So I just got it, and we're going to install it today into the computer. Hopefully everything goes smooth, and... I'll have Milica up and running very quickly. Okay, so here is my Omen computer. We are going to put the new graphics card in it. Here is my new graphics card. GE Force RTX 4070 Ti Super. 16 gigabyte VRAM. Super excited about this, but like I said, I'm pretty nervous. I hate uh, cracking this bad boy open, but let's open this up first and uh, let's check out the new GeForce. Sorry about that. I had to pause the camera to get it out of the box. It's kind of tough to get out of the box. Let's see what we've got here. So these are the instructions, I believe. All right, so we've got our instructions. The instructions are very simple. It's like two pages. The book is so thick because it's in like every language in human history, but should be pretty easy to install. All right, let's look at the graphics card itself. All right, it comes with a cord. Not sure if I'm gonna need this or not. May have to put the new cord in, I don't know. And then here is the graphics card itself. It's never been out of this. So here it is. Let's get it open and uh, we'll see what it looks like. All right, so here it is. It's got three fans like my original one, my 370. So hopefully this will be pretty easy to install. It does come wrapped in a bunch of plastic that we're gonna have to peel off. So I am going to get my computer open and then we will uh, compare it with my 370. After I get it installed, I'll do a major clean job, get the computer nice and clean again before we fire her up. Okay, so my Omen computer, the glass top is opened by a button that you push. So you just kind of push this button and then you can take the side off. Let's see if I can get this. It's hard to do with one hand. There it goes. Okay, sorry about that, but this just comes right off. And now here is my 3070. Now I've got a couple of screws I'm gonna have to take off right here. And I believe over here, and then I should be able to just pop this off. Once you have the screws out, there is just a little button right here. I know it's hard to see that you just push and the whole GPU should just come out. So I'm gonna get a screwdriver and let's get this out of here. Okay, so I'm gonna try and do this. I know it's hard to see, but I just wanna take these screws out without really uh, damaging or breaking anything. And I also don't wanna drop the um, screws into the system. I'm also wearing gloves just because I don't want to touch too much of the computer. Now we're gonna take out these screws. I'm gonna have to unplug this. I'm not sure how it's unplugged. 
All right, so you just squeeze the clamp and then this pulls right out. Now I've got to hit this little button, push this button down, and then theoretically, this should just come right out. This little plastic piece comes right out. Wow. It did come out really easily. So this is my 3070. So here's my 3070. Here's my 4070. They're about the same size and everything. Hopefully it'll go right back in. Before I can put the new one in, I'm gonna have to take off all this plastic that is wrapped around it. So I'm gonna do that, and then we're gonna see if we can just get this thing right installed. First of all, there are some protectors to the board. Don't forget to pull all that stuff off. And then there are plastic tabs and such everywhere. So we've got some protectors that just need to be pulled out. So you can see these protectors. And then we've got plastic. So like this plastic will just peel right off. Okay, so as you probably know because of my other videos, I was not able to get the new graphics card into the computer because my case was too small. So I ended up taking all of my components out of the case to my computer and putting it into this case here. Now this turned out to be quite a challenge and I have to admit I didn't record any of it. I had my buddy helping me. He is a computer guru. He actually teaches computer classes and he had a heck of a time getting my computer out of the original case because the case was built for that computer. So it had some quirks to it. It was a little bit tricky, but we finally got everything out and put into the new case. All right, everyone, so here is the computer in its new case. This case is super easy to um, work with. And you can see my new GeForce RTX 4070 from Asus is in there doing its job. Very pleased with how everything's going. I couldn't be happier with the performance of the computer now. It is really an amazing difference. Everything fits really good. Everything's looking very excellent. And so next will be to run some tests. Fortunately, I ran some tests with my old graphics card that was a 3070. So we're gonna run some comparisons with that next and see if there is a big difference. I have to say I've already noticed a big difference in the performance of my computer since I've been playing around with this 4070 graphics card. So now my computer has an i9 processor, 64 gigs of RAM, a 4070 Ti Super graphics card with 16 gigs of VRAM. I have a four terabyte extra hard drive along with the original hard drive, which I believe is one terabyte. I've got my computer basically as good as this motherboard's going to get, and I've done it exclusively for Daz Studio. So I am just an example of how you can get this done piece by piece. Don't despair if you don't have that kind of a computer. Start with something basic and build on it, and I think you'll be pleased. All right, look for my comparison videos of the two graphics cards. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and shoot me some comments. I'd love to hear what you have. I'd love to hear your opinion on what you think is a good graphics card. I know those 50s, 70s, 50s, 80s are coming out, so if any of you have those, let me know how that's going. 
I know they're super expensive and I'll never be able to afford one. But um, don't forget to like, subscribe, help my little channel out. Looking forward to talking with you. And until next time, happy rendering. Have a great day.